And it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Second down throw for Prescott. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. They're going 46, 46. 46. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that's caught by Beasley. First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Let's go. Let's finish now. Play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott, flush to his right. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Hey, 47! Go 
46. Gun, gun, gun. They're going to 53. 46. Prescott on first down. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. He was looking to get it to Allen Hearns that time. And now it's second down. Well, we progressed through the preseason, so let's prognosticate about the regular season. NFC. Can we overanalyze? Yeah, I want to overanalyze, right. too. NFC, the four divisions, who do you have winning them? Let's start in the East. The Philadelphia Eagles won the Super Bowl last year, got better in the offseason. I think they win their division again, although Dallas will make a strong run at them. Okay. And the South, you were saying you like Atlanta. Yeah, I do like Atlanta to get back to the top. Tough division. Three teams in the playoffs last year. Atlanta, New Orleans, which won the division, and Carolina. Going west, who do you have out there? The Rams. They took over for the Seahawks last year. I expect them to stay on the top of the heap. But let's face it, a lot of excitement in San Francisco with Jimmy Garoppolo. And in the north, can Green Bay overtake Minnesota? They can, but I don't think that they will. I think the Vikings defense carries them home. Kirk Cousins, their new quarterback. The Packers will challenge in a big way, but keep an eye on Detroit as well. Hey, hey, here we go. First down carry by Elliott. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. And that's another stop for the defense, something we've seen all game long. They have been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. up third a pretty good coverage there and both of these defenses they've had good coverage throughout this one no doubt about it and in today's nfl where we're used to a bit more scoring this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build who's going to make the big play An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Third and long for Prescott. Runs through the contact. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Williams. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. Prescott from the gun. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Jason Garrett might be wanting to reconsider the decision to go for it there. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. 